What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Miss Sids and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. So, in today's video, I'm actually kind of shook right now. Um, I'm going to be doing a first impression and a demo on the W7 Feather Dreams Pink Loose Powder. So, W7 is a UK cosmetic brand. I believe and they've got tons of like affordable products and they're actually quite good in terms of the range of their loose powders and um, they've got like powders for vegans um, banana powders beige powders any type of powder that you could think of and um, quite a lot of dark skin people do rave about their loose powders I think they got in the shade banana and it's pretty much like a dupe of the Sasha Buttercup now I'm not really the Sasha Buttercup fan because I feel like it's too yellow as I was strolling along I saw a pink powder so I thought hold on a minute a pink powder I was a bit shook because I'm not gonna lie I haven't really seen um, dark skin people using pink powder to bake so I definitely want to try this out and obviously film this for you guys so before we get into the demo let's go into the claims just to see what the powder should be doing okay so quickly reading the description this powder retails for six pounds and 95 pence the link will be in the description box below it says that the feather dreams is finely mild pink hue setting powder providing a natural glowing matte rosy finish it also says it's perfect for all skin types and tones it's become a must-have in many makeup bags so the all skin types and skin tones is what got me I've got normal to dry skin and as you can see I am obviously dark skin don't let these artificial lightning fool you um, I will leave my foundation reference in the description box below so you can pretty much get an idea of how dark I am so when I saw this pink powder I thought really like I am I need to try this out I need to try this out so this is what it looks like this is a container so off the back I'm pretty much feeling the container because it's like very useful to travel with in comparison to like the Ben Nye or the Makeup Revolution banana powder this is obviously useful to travel with so it comes with a seal um, which is pretty much standard so I'm gonna take off the seal now yeah so um before we get onto the powder, I'm going to apply concealer. So, the concealer I'm going to use today is the NARS Creamy Ready Concealer in the shade of Monday. I thought to use this because it's pretty much like the best seller, and a lot of people have it from like normal to oily combination skin. So, I thought just to use this, and I haven't actually used this for quite a while. So, I'm going to use that today. So, I'm going to apply this in my normal parts of my face, which is the center part, so under my eyes, bridge of my nose. Um, full head cubic bow and chin and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender okay so concealer is blended out flawlessly to my expectations well hopefully it looks flawless but anyway so here we go with the powder I'm going to tip it upside down just to get some of the product out so hopefully you can see that um, I'm just going to get some of the powder I'll wipe it on my hand. Oh, okay. So, oh, hell no, that looks white. Why does that look white, please? Yeah, this literally looks like powder. It literally looks like baby powder, but it does have like a hint of like pinky undertones. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of that powder. I'm gonna dip my damp beauty blender <laughs> oh lord jesus sidoni why do you do this yourself okay so hopefully you guys can see this but um i do believe there is a pinky rosiness to it um it's it's not like completely white where if you swatch it and rub it into your hand it will look more ashy but um this is what the powder looks like so i'm gonna wipe this off because to be honest i don't bake anyway so <laughs> yeah. okay so this is my face after dusting off the powder so i am going to do the rest of my makeup off camera just to save time and then i will get back to you lot very shortly so bear me 
two seconds. Okay guys, so this is the final completed look and I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm feeling myself, you know. You know when you feel yourself? I think it's the lipstick, the lip combo. I'm using the Colourpop lipstick in the shade Limbo and I use the Jouer Lip Topper in the shade Tan Lines and this colour right here, oh, it's just stunning. But anyway, it's not my lip. So I am going to rock this makeup for the rest of the day, which is not really that long to be fair because it's now um, <clears throat> 3.55 in the evening. So I'm gonna just rock this makeup. To be honest, the main thing I want is the powder to set my concealer. I've got very fine distinctive creases around my eye area and um, as long as it sets my concealer and holds well, then I am happy. But overall, I'm actually like happy with the outlook so far, um, surprisingly. So let's see how this holds up for the rest of the day and I will see you lot shortly. Hi guys, so thank you very much for staying tuned. So I actually forgot to record for a hot second. Um, it is late, it's about quarter past, yeah, quarter past 10 now. So I've had this on my face for about seven hours. So without further ado, let's get right into the review and discuss if this is a must buy or a miss. So with the cons, now this is probably the major con because this was part of the reasons why I bought this product in the first place. Hence that is a pink loose powder and it says that it will have like a glowy matte finish with like a rosy pink hue to it. I didn't feel like I had that. I don't know if it's my actual complexion or if it's a concealer that I use or whatever but I did not get that. With the Too Faced for example, um, it has like this sort of luminosity so you can see little glowy like specks in it in the powder with this i didn't get nothing it's just literally a matte powder no pink hue no rosiness no nothing okay so going on to the pros now number one this set my concealer which is the major big thing i am so impressed it is a matte powder so for the oily combination skin people out there you would appreciate that like i've got normal to dry skin so i don't get oily and i don't really get sheen unless i sweat but it was one of those days when i was like running up and down and it was really hot so my face will pretty much stay the same but it is so like fresh and matte looking it's unreal like literally unreal i love the um texture of it it was like really nice and smooth not as smooth as like the normal messier but for like a seven pound worth powder it really done its job and the number one thing which i was so like shook about i actually took another picture with flash and i took it directly after applying my makeup and usually when you apply the powder and your makeup is like completely like fresh um, you will still get that sort of powdery residue with this camera on flash I was absolutely amazed like it was so gorgeous I will put the picture right here it was so gorgeous looking I was so shocked I was like wow like there was no flashback like literally no flashback so I was really really impressed with that um, and yeah as you can see I'm just like overwhelmed with that so overall this powder is actually a decent powder surprisingly I don't know why I'm so surprised but I just really thought that this would be an epic fail but it's actually a really de decent powder don't get me wrong it's not one of those powder that you must get in your collection um, I could have easily skipped this one to be fair but I am happy that it's worked for me. I'm happy it's done what it's meant to do. Besides having that sort of rosy hue effect, um, it's done its job. So for $6.95, pink loose powder on me, it's done its job and W7 will get a thumbs up from me. So if you do have this powder, let me know in the comments what you think about this powder. If you don't, let me know what you think about my first impression and if you would get this powder. But I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it was very useful. If you are new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell button so you can stick around and grow with me. And to my old subscribers, thank you so much again for sticking by me and supporting me as per usual. And hopefully I will see you lot in my next video. Bye.